Guido coming at you with a tactic talk. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. Another in my series of master's class. Master's class, another review and replay that was sent in for my ISU 130 challenge or my ISU 130 contest. This was another of the runners up. This is indignant maple bacon. <laughs> the one before this was apoplectic aardvark and this is an indignant maple bacon. Another fantastic name. Good job on the name. I should get you need a prize just for the name, but I don't have anything to give you, so <laughs> deal with it. Hey, this is a WZ120, tier 9, bottom tier, but he's only one tier down. And a two tier battle, a 5 10 battle. And indignant, whoa, indignant maple, maple, ba maple bacon. Maple bacon, something like that. Takes a hit from a 140, so he's down some hit points. Doesn't have a lot of friends early on, but they start to pile in. We're going to use our 120. What on earth is the. the R. <laughs> That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> Never seen such a thing. And a miss. And another 360. And then another hit from the 140. And we are really giving up hit points now. Giving up hit points. Down two thirds of our hit points. We're going to keep plugging away because Indignant Maple Bacon is not going to quit. He's not going to quit. He is Rocky, he's the puncher. He's the puncher, and he's going to take hits and give them. Early on, he's taking them, quite a few actually, but <laughs> he's going to give it a give it a go here. There's another miss. Fighting on the corner on whatever this map is called, Mountain Pass, down here in the southwest, and pretty good stack up. You'll notice that his team though is kind of thin everywhere else and dead. So thin and dead. That's no no way to be in World of Tanks. You don't you don't want your forces to be either thin or dead. In the right place. There we go. There's a shot. Now we're getting somewhere. 896. Another shot into the Centurion. So some early mistakes. Jumped out a few times. Got spanked by the 140 with the Russian inaccurate gun. I'm just kidding. It's, it's not inaccurate. <laughs> and he returns back to Cap. So let's take a look at this. What do we got going on? Well, it's 6 to 5. That looks pretty good. The big stack down in the southwest won. As it should have, they completely outnumbered them. Not completely, but pretty well. And you can see that they have no other flank other than the 92 HMC. And Indignant Maple Bacon does exactly what I preach every time. If you win your flank and the other flanks are threatened, go back to Cap. Or as far back as you can to try to cut the enemy off. Because that's where they're going. So why push into your own Cap, or to the enemy Cap, sorry and bring their campers into the game. And you're bringing their campers into the game. He's gonna come across here. This is an open area, but there's a nice big rock and some trees. So he crosses over to the right, over to the north. Is it north? I don't know. Yeah, no, no south. <laughs> the right side of the rock. Enough that it covers his approach up. Now, good news is there wasn't somebody sitting on this corner as he came around, but the Conway gets spotted by the object. Object wisely gets in there so we can start providing some more spots and then maple bacon is going to follow up like a good piece of bacon wood and try to get rid of this conway the object 140 nukes him while moving why not because of inaccurate inaccurate russian no wait not the 140 the 140 has a very accurate gun and it's a russian cover medium maple bacon goes into this little ditch this little dip right here he's looking for a sh whoa what happened there Looking for a shot, but the standard B is hiding behind the rock right there. There's an FV 4005, not the Death Star. Okay, try to keep your FVs straight. That's very important. So he wisely decides not to point down there. The 110E5 is down in the pit for some reason. And look at this, back to cap. So what a great move. This is why I have it included on the Masters class. Not because it was a 6,000 or 7,000 damage game or anything like that. He went to some critical trainings. He helped his team win. He took some punches early. Then he got a little more careful, played better, and is continuing to be a part of the win. Went over to the middle, helped clean up the middle, came back towards cap. While it, the cap was already being taken care of, he was moving that way in case it wasn't. And now moving back towards the middle. And this map is pretty channelized. Once it gets to this situation, there is some capability to move back and forth on the 
to the flanks, at least from the middle to the western flank. And the middle, the middle, middle part, this low middle part, can be used somewhat to flex back and forth, but it's kind of dangerous. Bit of a pit of death, depending on where the enemy is. But coming all the way back over here and continuing to hit the W, the W button, so that he can get more hit points of damage. Gonna take a little jink to the right, try to avoid getting seen and blown up by that FV, but they're all running back towards the cap. Where is the FV? Thank goodness. Oh, he is sitting over there, but he's around the corner, so he doesn't see our hero. A little auto aim, it looks like. And slowed down enough, you'll notice that even in third person with auto aim, he was watching the dispersion circle close down, and once it got. I don't think it was fully closed, but once it got fairly closed, he then let it rip. Nicely done on that one as well. Might as well take that moving shot as you go in there. You notice how they've all gone around the corner and you've got to reload anyway. That was the shot you had. Take it. And by the time you come around the corner, you should be close to reloaded. And the WZ does take quite a long time, but look at this. He's got exactly what he wants. Down goes that guy. Down goes the Patton. And that's that. 2,400. Two kills. And a good example. Nice one there. I appreciate you sending that in. That was another of the finalists. Simply because of the good decision making. Masters class how to flex and react in a medium. Thanks, indignant maple bank. <laughs> Is it indignant or indigent? Indignant. <laughs> indigent might be good too. What a great name. Thanks for sending that in, guys. Appreciate it, and we will see you.